Time for another Let's Repair, and this time I think this is possibly one of the best deals I've personally ever found on eBay. As before, I've recorded this over the course of like several days, so by the end of the video you'll actually get to see how everything turned out, whether, whether it went well or, or not so well. But anyway, I'll just let you watch the video. So here's the latest faulty console that I've bought, and it's a TurboGrafx-16 UK PAL boxed, and it comes with the Blazing Lasers game and got this for an excellent deal I think. It's £11.50 including free postage and it's faulty but um, when you see what comes with it I think you'll agree it's a, a very good deal so yeah it comes boxed and I'm guessing these are pictures of the actual uh, console and everything here so it comes in the uh, polystyrene inlay you get the controller with it and there's a console there. Um, looks in really nice condition. There's a bit of a, a mark up this end, but we'll see what that's like when it eventually turns up. So everything looks fine. You get the AV cable with it and the power cable or power adapter. This looks like it's maybe a an aftermarket thing that they've thrown in there, but again we'll see when it turns up and you get the game. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but that's even got its uh, little plastic sleeve and finally you've got the controller and the uh, instructions in their original baggie so all of that for £11.50 including the postage I don't know why no one else bid on this but it just seems no one else was really that interested in it and uh, I managed to snag it for eleven fifty. so just waiting for this to turn up now and I'll read you the description of the fault actually it's just down here so um, where is it? Console will only display a blank colour on startup and hangs indefinitely. Um, all other uh, included items are in full working condition, so that's good. That means that everything else is working fine apart from the, the console. And they've actually left a, a link here um, with some info on how you could maybe fix it. So uh, it just looks like someone's repair blog um, where they've fixed the, a similar problem. It mentions a couple of things about um, what was it, replacing a capacitor, um, replacing a, an IC, and that was pretty much it. But what ended up working for this guy was to um, clean up the contact pins for the the cartridge and reflow some solder. So I'm hoping that this one um, <laughs> is similar. But again, I'll need to find out when it it turns up. Uh, so I've only just won this today, so the date's the, the 23rd of January. And I've actually bought things from this seller before, they're called Game Sensei. Um, this is the same seller that I got my Neo Geo CD controller from, and again that was faulty as well, but it turned up like next day, and uh, I just needed to replace a couple of parts and that, and it worked fine again. So yeah, I'm hoping this turns up quite quickly, and I can... Uh, have a shot at repairing it because I've never actually owned one of these before. Um, so I don't really know too much about them, but it should be fun to give it a go. Uh, I'll give it a go at trying to fix this thing, so I'll make another video when it eventually turns up. Okay, so it's now Friday and it's two days on from when I recorded the first part of this video, and this just turned up, so I'm guessing it's the Turbo Graphics. So I suppose the next thing to do is open it up and see what we've got. Not too sure what this bulge is on the top, but uh, yeah, let's see what we've got. I'm halfway into the package and so far everything seems to be in good condition. On the top here there was this uh, jiffy bag and inside that it had uh, the AV cables. They looked to be in pretty much excellent condition. The power adapter and I think this is probably the game. So. I'll just continue opening this up. So I've now got it all unpackaged and very happy with what I've seen so far. So here's the console itself and it looks to be in great condition. I can't see any signs of damage or obvious misuse or anything like that. It's nice and clean. There's no scuffs or scrapes. It's even got the original uh, protective plastic over the, the TurboGrafx logo there. So, yeah, very happy with that. And here I've also got the, the controller. And again, 
it's in excellent condition. Doesn't look like it's ever even been used. It's got the plastic, protective plastic over the, the front panel as well. So very happy about that. Here's the game, Blazing Lasers. And this is complete in its box, its case. And it's in its little sleeve. You've got the, the manual and everything. It's the first time I've ever, ever actually seen one of these uh, in real life, so very cool. That is uh, Blazing Lasers. Here, have got the manual, and again, it doesn't look like it's ever even been opened up. Still got the, I think that's probably the original tape on there. Very nice, and the box. I don't really care about collecting boxes for my systems, I usually just end up selling them. Uh, but this one is in really, really nice condition, considering its age. The only damage I could find was down at this corner here, where it looks like something's oh, maybe gone through the, the box a little there, but otherwise it's in excellent condition. And of course it's got the original polystyrene insert and the cardboard cover went over the top of that, so overall very very happy with what I've seen so far. For 11.50 it's a real bargain I think, so next thing I'll need to do is hook this all up to the, the TV and test it out. I've got a little um, test sock over there, I'll hook it up to that and see what we get. So, so far so good. Got it all hooked up now, so it's all plugged into the, the TV over there. Got my game, Blazing Lasers, and the contacts in that are all clean, so let's put that in there. And as I suspected, the power adapter that comes with it is not the original one, it's uh, just a kind of generic uh, power adapter. It's rated at 9 volts, 1.5 amp, and I don't know if someone's been messing around with the polarity in this because these seem to be uh, blanked out but I have tested it with this and it does work uh, well it works in that it puts out a, a video signal but it does cause some interference on the screen so what I've done instead is I've dug out one of these original Mega Drive 1 adapters and this seems to perfectly match the or near enough, perfectly match the power rating that's on the, the bottom of the console. So I'm going to be using this one instead. And also when I use this, I don't get any of the strange interference on the screen. So probably safest just to use that one. So got it all hooked up here and I'll just fire it up and see what we get. So we're getting a plain blank white screen. And it does change between just a solid white screen and a blue screen. So if I take the cartridge out and turn it on, let's come up with the white screen again. If I just do some power cycles, you'll see, sorry, my camera's going out of focus here. Uh, you'll see that it comes up with a, a blue screen. So let's do that one more time. It's a white screen. And it seems to be more, when I plug in the, the cartridge, it'll change to a white screen. Oh no, it's come up with a blue screen. Anyway, so yeah, it seems to be putting out a video signal, uh, either just a solid blue or a solid white screen. So next thing we have to do here is pop this open and see if there's anything obviously wrong with it. Hopefully it's just a case of um, reflowing some solder, fixing a, a broken trace or something. Simple like that, although the chances of that happening are probably going to be quite slim. Um, but overall, so far, it's looking good. It's in really nice condition. There's like literally no signs of damage or anything to it at all. I mean, I even noticed in the back of this the plastic cover still on the uh, this kind of back section as well. So it doesn't seem like it's ever even been used really. So yeah. Yeah, next thing we need to do is pop it open and see what's going on inside. I've mostly got the console now disassembled into its component parts, so over here you can see the top and the bottom sections, and they were just held together by these game bit screws here. I think there was about eight of them or something. And here's the, the main board, the motherboard, and this is where I came across my first hurdle. 
this RF shielding that goes right around the the board top and bottom is actually soldered into place so you can see here if the camera will focus all around the the motherboard here the PCB is actually soldered into the uh, you can see it soldered in with these little tabs so what I had to do was break out the uh, the soldering iron here and just go around all those points and take off the, the, the shielding, the RF shielding. So that was a, a bit of a pain. I've only taken the top half off so far. I need to do the same with the bottom. But this is where things <laughs> start to go a bit wrong and it doesn't look as good on the inside as it does on the outside. So I just pop this off here. And the first thing I noticed was that it looks like it's already been worked on in the past. I don't know if they've managed to fix it and then it's broken again, but yeah, first thing I noticed straight away was this wire, this jumper wire here, and some pretty shoddy looking uh, solder work. So hopefully the camera can pick this out okay. So as you can see here, there's a, a jumper wire and it goes all the way over to here, and it looks like it's either burnt through or somehow been damaged which isn't a good sign. Uh, you can also see if the camera will pick that up okay. Some not so great looking solder work where it, they've possibly refitted this chip and they've lifted a few traces in the process and tried to repair it. You can see that there. So yeah, that'll need to all be fully checked over and I'll need to work out where all those pins are meant to connect up to on the board and make sure that they are actually connected up. So it looks like this has been worked on in the past. So I don't know if this chip has been replaced at some point as well. And uh, there's a few other points on the board that kind of gave me a bit of concern. You can see here, you can see at the bottom of these legs there's not really too much solder. You can actually see through the board. They will need to be reflowed and checked. And uh, over here, this chip, the Sony chip, it looks like again they've tried to reflow some solder on one of these legs. And you can see there's a big blob of solder on that leg there. And again, that will need to be checked. So it's not looking too good on the inside. I don't know if maybe they've had a. Um, a faulty console and they've just switched out the, the board from this one here and put it into their own and put the faulty one in here. Or if this has been repaired in the past and it it, it worked again then it's gone faulty or, or whatever. I'll need to double check all these points and make sure that uh, things are connected up to where they should be and the fuse doesn't seem to be blown or anything so that's a, a good sign at least. But. Yeah, that just it's just one of the things you get when you're you're buying these faulty consoles from eBay. You never know exactly what you're going to end up uh, getting yourself into. On the outside, it looks perfect, and you've got all the the box and all the manual and everything. It looks in great condition, but on the inside, you've got this here. So yeah, it's a bit of a gamble, but when you're paying like the amount of money I paid for this, it's not really uh, a huge deal. But hopefully, I can get this working again. I'm not too sure if it will be I'll be able to or not, but it'll be a good learning experience to try and it should be a bit of a, a laugh as well. Well I say a laugh, I don't know if fixing those <laughs> dodgy solder points is going to be too much fun, but yeah, I'll see what I can do anyway. So uh, I'll leave leave it here and uh, continue disassembling this thing. So good news, I'm actually getting some signs of life from the board and as you can see I've managed to get the title screen to come up, the music's playing fine and it'll actually play through the demo mode and everything so yeah, I'm actually genuinely surprised I managed to get anything to, to work at all uh, given the condition the board looked in but all I did, I haven't really done anything yet but I was just going around this IC here and just pressing down on the different pins to see if I could try and isolate where the, the bad connection was and it seems to be these uh, pins down this corner here, so what I'll do is I'll go over them, I'll actually go around the whole chip with the soldering iron, reflow the solder, and hopefully that'll be a, a reliable fix and it should work fine again. But yeah, getting some signs of life from the board and 
<laughs> genuinely quite surprised and very happy to, to see that so I'll keep testing it and hopefully I'll get a reliable fix out of it. So moment of truth time and I've got it all reassembled and hooked up to the TV ready to go. I've reflowed and resoldered all the various contact points and pins and legs on the uh, motherboard there and I'm reasonably confident that I've got everything repaired and back to the way it should be so I'll test it out. I've got my copy of Blazing Lasers here. I'll pop that in and switch it on and as you can hear and see it's working fine. I'll just change the aspect ratio 4 by 3 so it's working fine. So I'm very very happy about that. Just let it play through the intro. Blazing Lasers. So for what, £11.50 I've got myself a pretty much mint condition TurboGrafx-16 mint condition pad, game, instruction manual and box for £11.50 and what was that, maybe 20 minutes of resoldering. So I can now go ahead and start adding some TurboGrafx-16 games to the collection. So. There you go, there are still bargains to be had on eBay if you just spend a little time uh, looking for them and then you might need to fix them up a bit but otherwise they're, they're still there to be found and perfect example right there, I think that was a proper bargain so hopefully this is interesting to watch so thanks for watching and I'll catch you again soon.